Well, if you don't have a 3D entertainment center or a closet that doesn't automatically dry clean your laundry, I don't know how you don't have these uh -uh. things. <laughs> you don't have a home of tomorrow. Imagine that. So Craig Worth joining us in studio now. Craig, tell us, have we come any closer to the things that Emily just mentioned? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, old films told us some of the things that we would have by today. Those things that you promised, I know that. <laughs> and a computer that lets you work remotely from your job on the planet Mars. Ah. Oh yeah. Your fancy house though comes with a price. It could cost up to $7,200. Well, these are all past predictions of a future, <laughs> a swell future. <laughs> ah, the home of tomorrow. An ad in the Tribune says it will have a refrigerator with a handy tray. And what a space age design for 1934. Although not nearly as modern as the home of tomorrow in 1964. But the home of tomorrow ain't cheap. About $8,500 in the upper Yale neighborhood or $7,250 on Gilmer. Money means good stuff in a home of tomorrow. Yes, even in the 1940s, a modern kitchen was oh so great to even think about. Since you folks have an old-fashioned kitchen, you know the amount of stooping and reaching that must be done. I mean, this was unbelievably good stuff. Right above the range are bins built into the wall for foods such as cereals that go directly into boiling water. I suppose, until the steam from the boiling water rusted the bins and made everything inside look and taste like paste. But this was great. Someday there would be lots of electric whiz bang stuff like toasters and George Foreman grills and can openers. A ledge under the large picture window is wide enough to hold the electrical equipment used at the table. Of course, nothing beat the look while you cook TV in a stove. Now that's what Channel 4 was pushing in 1948. Hottest TV shows in town. Yes, the kitchen of the future. But there was more to modern homes. In 1967, we took a look forward to, wow, 1999. 1999 AD, more than a generation away. And yet dreams travel faster than light. And the folks in the house of the future had such cool jobs in 1999. Several days each week, he commutes to a distant laboratory where he's engaged in the Mars One project, the colonization of the first planet. And the kids, they would learn on these computers by 1999. All pertinent information about this family, its records, its tastes and reference material, is stored in these memory banks, available instantly to every member of the family. With the Commodore VIC-20, the whole family can learn computing at home. What a world. There would be a medical couch that would scan for all that ails you. And this, a combo furnace, power station, and electronic garbage can, which somehow makes your own sunny photocell windows. Of course, they did kind of predict email. An electronic correspondence machine, or home post office, which allows for instant written communication between individuals anywhere in the world. My favorite? Well, listen. Clothing of the non-disposable variety will be stored in cleaning closets, where a chemical vapor atmosphere and an ultrasonic vibrator will remove dirt particles. A mattress with one side soft and the other side hard. And appropriately enough, it's called the Jack Spratt mattress. That air full of dry cleaning spray from your cleaning closet will really help you sleep a long time. All that gives you lots of time to party like it's 1999. How are things in Paris, Pete? Family settled down okay? And big screen entertainment. Mike, would you make me a dupe of that? I'd like to show it to some friends of ours who spend a lot of time down there. Sure, well, I guess you want it in 3D. Huh? Yeah, we finally made the switch. You gotta keep up with the times, you know. Oh yeah, and of course there was the kitchen. Split second lunches, all part of the instant society of tomorrow. And all available just past 80th South in modern Utah. 
Wow. Okay. There is so much to digest. <laughs> and Some I, things I they weren't I too had far a off. Modern home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was really disappointing to discover that dry cleaning thing. The dry cleaning closet. I know. Now, I don't use something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but can you imagine how you would sleep after breathing dry cleaning fumes? Oh, no. anything no. but healthy. You'll never yeah. wake up. You'll well, sleep that's real good. You, on your way to Mars. Can I just say I really, I really resonated with the mother, the woman who was cooking and dancing as she did. I was she like, was wow, so happy. It's just how it really is in it the it modern is. world. It is in the modern world yes. because. Well, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. We have so much to say. I hope that goes online, Craig, because that's mm -hmm. really good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We're heading